Good morning. It is early. Not early. I'm a liar. I just lied to the fucking paces. It is um, 9 a.m. And we are just getting ready for the day. Here's the outfit. I'm wearing these overalls that I'm obsessed with. I wear them all the time. They're from The Gap. And then I just have like a motor shirt underneath that is from Forever 21. And then my bands that I wear all the time. And then my glasses are from Zimp. You can use my code. Michael30. Huh. But anyways, we just got up and got dressed for the day. We're about to go meet my friends Sarah and Maggie. Maggie does all of my like family pictures, like all the cute pictures that I get done with Lucy and stuff. Maggie does those. So I'm meeting up with her and one of my good friends, Sarah Girl. And we're going to um like an estate sale, which I'm very excited about. But we're meeting up at the coffee shop that we used to work at first. I'm gonna grab some coffee and then I'll just carpool together. Also, you guys, look at how cute. My boyfriend came home last night. He was working a really, really long day, like a double, 12, longer than a 12 hour day. He was gone from like 6 a.m. to midnight. Um, but he brought me these. He was like, I heard it was girlfriend day or whatever and I just wanted you to have some flowers. So what an angel. Um, I have some breakouts going on down here. What a surprise. And I need to go get Lucy because apparently she locked the cat in the closet. Maybe not the closet. The bathroom. All right, we're in the car. We are about to head out. We're in the car like five minutes earlier than I anticipated on leaving. So that's good because I have to run by the bank and get some cash because this is Um, I was filming the other day, I was vlogging, and I don't know what happened to my mic, but like the mic on the feed cut out completely in several clips. So I did a whole haul showing you guys everything that I got um, on our adventures out and about the other day, and literally none of the audio got recorded. So. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a haul now and just show you some of the fun things that I got so um, We went to this beeswax store that I didn't record anything in but I got this cute little beeswax moon I think it is just beautiful. I also got this really cute um, Smudging stick it just came with like a little selenite wand on it and it looks to be eucalyptus lavender and some pretty pink little flower uh, then we went to my favorite crystal store, which I didn't record anything in, but I got this green adventurine sphere. I just think it is so beautiful and it came on top of this swan like pedestal and I saw it in the store like this and I was like, oh my god, I have to bring that home with me. That is just beautiful, stunning. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed that and then we went to the little antique plant store, the vintage plant store. Um, I'll show you the vase that I got in another clip. It's in my bathroom. Y'all will see that in just a couple minutes. Um, but I got these adorable salt and pepper shakers. They are little cowboy boots. I have an obsession with salt and pepper shakers. I realized very recently I literally have like two salt and pepper shakers for um, Halloween, one for Christmas, one just like regular. There's one sitting in my Amazon right now that I'm like can't wait to get when I finally get our house. Um, I also got this little candle holder. I think it's just so absolutely precious. They had so many of these and it took everything in me 
not to buy every single one. I only bought one because I have an ounce of self-control. Um, at the estate sale, I got this cute little pumpkin. It says harvest time because I'm so excited for fall. Um, I got some little stamps. These are like letters. This is a rose, if you can see it. And then I bought this one just for the cat stamp, but there's like two other little stamps in there. Um, and then I also got this bread loaf pan. It says, a joyous heart makes the loaves taste better. And it's like really nice quality. The lady that sold it was like, these are real expensive. And I was like, <laughs> okay, give it to me for literally $5. Um, and then she also had this thing which I bought. It's like a sun and you hang it outside and this little sphere spins and the light shines through it. It's just beautiful and I can't wait until I have a porch that I can hang that on. So that is pretty much everything. Like I said, the vase you're going to see in a later clip. Okay, so I have been doing laundry and just like organizing stuff and Lucy's watching a movie and I'm listening to um, oh, <laughs> I'm listening to Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Um, I'm only like six chapters in, so we'll see how it goes. But since Lucy's just chilling watching her movie, I figured I'll clean the bathroom because it needs to be done. I like to go through and like purge the bathroom every couple of months because it just gets so crazy in here. Um, and I do want to give you guys like a little bookshelf tour since I put all the new stuff on there. That I got today um but I'm gonna wait until she's done with her movie because I don't want to interrupt her you know what I mean so anyways let me show you okay this is the bathroom it is just kind of a mess my boyfriend brought home a rock the other day and a lot happening in here and there doesn't need to be so I'm gonna go through and just like clean it up, organize it, do whatever I need to do. Look at how cute this little area is. Oh, I need it. Okay, I just finished cleaning the bathroom. Let me show you, pretty proud of it. Um, I didn't wipe down the counters yet, but uh, Lucy's like begging me to go outside, so. Before that though, look at this plant update. Um, she was like maybe that big when I first put her in that pot. So she's thriving, but this stuff well that one's not organized but that's lucy's um i put my new pot here it just has a lighter in it right now but i'm sure i'll put a flower in it at some point little cowboy boots over here and then there's just like, there's like random stuff in there okay hold on that's all organized this one's all organized and this one and I feel so much better about it. I also like restocked our soap and stuff because it was down. I put the little candle thing over here. My plant is doing so well. Um, but I'll give you a little, give you a little bookshelf tour. Up here we have a bunch of bottles of my favorite wine. The brand is called Oliver Winery. Love it. Um, these are all, these are like Spanish books, health and like aromatherapy books, kid books, um, herbal books. There's a little teacup up top. Over here we have my full TBR, which I am actually posting a TikTok on pretty soon. Okay, go pee pee. This is a beeswax candle I got for Christmas last year. My incense burner. This is the little, okay. Sorry, toddler had to pee. Let's get back to it. Uh, this is the little moon beeswax candle I just got with all of my crystals. Look at this guy. And this little guy. And this little guy. Love him. Um, I've got my tarot set as well as a little bubble candle, Capricorn candle. This girl, which I put the smudging stick into. My flea bag, the scriptures, which are literally my Bible. Um, down here are all my Sarah J Mass books, a couple of my current reads, and my little scrapbook that I'm creating. Um, these are my incense, 
my boyfriend's Polaroid camera, my Polaroid camera. This is <laughs> where I keep all of my tips and stuff that I make, so they kind of collect there. I set this little guy here, Mommy, got I... my cameras, Mommy. a little, um, Mommy. No. what baby? Can we go outside now? Yes, ma'am. Got a candle and then a selenite tower and a, um, Himalayan salt lamp. That's my book. And then I do, 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 do. all of my books down here are books that I have read. I've got some like painting and scrapbooking stuff back here. This is a red light that I use at night. And then down on the bottom is even more random. That's my belly cast from when I was pregnant. There's just like candlesticks, thrifted stuff, paintings that my boyfriend and I did, a big soap dispenser for the laundry room, my skateboard Mama. from when I was 13. Um, my bookshelf is such a like hodgepodge collection of things, but I love it. Okay, can you get off me please so we can go? This is the my big um, record player that I just thrifted. The flowers that my boyfriend got me. I think I showed you those clothes this morning. But I just got this off Facebook Marketplace. And we're going to use it as a TV console when we move. Um, got some little guys up here propagating. I cleaned up this little area. I'm just feeling... I'm feeling so good and now we're gonna go outside because Lucy really wants to go outside and my boyfriend's on his way home from work which means we're probably gonna cook some dinner tonight which I'm very excited about I feel like we haven't cooked together in so long good job okay hold on what? It's a, it's a giant drill. It's a giant drill. my book Hard holes. Um, good morning. Hi. The last time I talked to you guys, it was like the other day. Um, but I never finished that vlog, and we're going to brunch again with the girls today. So, bye, babe. I want a sandwich. Okay, mommy, I'll make you a sandwich. Um, I'm packing up. I'm on my health and wellness journey since the last time you guys saw me. So if you see me flying away in the wind as a speck of dust, don't even worry about it. It's not a big deal. Um, I got red maca root powder and I put a tablespoon in here to put in like my coffee that I order when I go there. And then I have this sea moss gel. This shit is so bad. This tastes so bad. Roll the clip of me trying it for the first time. Okay, do you want me to do it first or you? I'll do it. Like the consistency is a lot. It tastes like powdered milk. Why would you say that to me right as I'm about to say Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? Oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't read it first. Like those potatoes it's, the, it, it's the consistency. It's not the flavor. It's the consistency. It's the consistency. No, you gotta, mommy. You gotta take a hit. You gotta take a hit. It's so good for you. It's good for you. It's so good for you. It's not that bad. It's really not. It's just the consistency. You just want to. I mean, finish. But I'm bringing a tablespoon of this. Um, I think we're going somewhere that we make pancakes. So I'm gonna put that in Mama, a pancake to disguise the taste. I don't know where the breads are. I'll get the breads, babe. But I know. I know. Peanut butter. She's got the peanut butter. Um. Anyways, and then I also have a massive bag of spearmint leaves. So I've been making spearmint leaf tea every morning, which is what I have in here. Um. But I just thought I would bring you guys with me. I'm going to show you all of the teas and supplements and things that I ordered from this Anthony's company um, to change my whole life. Okay, let me get this stuff to make you sing. Hello. We're making butter and peanut butter. <laughs> do, 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 you want do, do, crunchy do. peanut butter? You want crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? Smooth. Yeah, and we need to put this one away. Huh? We need to put this one away because this one's crunchy. So what did you? Um. Do? So I think we're going. I don't want the knife. Okay, thank you. 
I don't want you to cut the knife. I'm not gonna cut it, babe. I don't um, want you to cut this, but. We were supposed to have a sleepover last night. Katie, Baylor, Naomi were supposed to come over. We were gonna watch Practical Magic and have a sleepover. Uh, but I worked last night. Well, I worked all day yesterday. And we just kind of decided last minute that we weren't gonna do a sleepover, but we would go and get breakfast together. So it's 10.20 right now. We're gonna leave the house like right now and go meet them at this place called, well, I think we're meeting at Naomi's first. And then I think we're gonna go. Not like this, Mom. We're gonna go to this place called the Funky Mom, Griddle. Mom, not like this. Okay. I want two breads. We're gonna go to this place called the Funky Griddle, I think, where you can like make your own pancakes. Um, Joe's hey. And then I do have to work tonight, but I don't work tonight until four o'clock, so. Okay, hey, I know y'all missed me. Um, editing Michael is back because I did a whole spiel showing you all of the different teas and supplement type things, vitamins that I got, and it didn't record. So, I had said that I got this maca powder that was from this um, brand called Anthony's, and I also ordered a bunch of different stuff. So let me just run you through it because none of the audio recorded. Um, I got this ashwagandha root powder. I'm really excited about this. I saw a thing that said you're supposed to take maca powder for the first 14 days of your cycle and then ashwagandha for the last 14 days of your cycle and it's supposed to change your life. So hopefully that will be kicking in. Um, I got some French lavender flowers to have some lavender tea. Very excited about that guy. Um, got a shit ton of organic black chia seeds because, duh, a shit ton of turmeric. I did not know the bags were going to be this big when I ordered everything. I literally just, like, clicked. There was only one size bag that everything came in, so. Um, this is the, I said in the video that I had gotten spearmint tea. It's actually peppermint, which is not as good for your hormones, but peppermint tea is still very good for you. Um, and it is a big old bag. This guy is going to last me a very long time. So that's incredible. Um, this is a wheatgrass powder. Very excited for this. I haven't tried this one yet, but excited to be able to make green juice with this. This is a spirulina um, powder. This is very good for your hormones. Um, it's in the same family as spearmint leaves. So incredible for this that I've got going on on my face. Um, I haven't yet tapped into her either, but I do think maybe I should do that immediately. California grown. Um, and then this is the maca powder. And I don't know if I said in the thing I got red maca powder instead of yellow or black because red is supposed to be the best for your hormones. I'm really trying to just go on a very like hormone focused, hormone balancing journey. Good job before I even noticed. Sorry. Can I 